Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. We don't really talk about the IMSA Sports Car Championship on this channel all that much. It gets the odd mention here and there, but much like NASCAR, I don't watch it and I often forget it exists. Unlike NASCAR, the racing is pretty exciting to watch and the Daytona 24 Hours race is a feather in the cap of any top endurance driver. It attracts top drivers and a selection of manufacturers. So with the Daytona 24 Hours taking place this weekend, Let's do a rundown of the drivers and cars involved and try and pick a winner. So make sure you subscribe. If this goes down well, maybe I'll pay more attention to the IMSA, but not NASCAR. Never NASCAR. I'm sorry, but you can take your playoffs and shove them. Let's start with the GTP class. Cadillac Racing. Two cars for Cadillac. A Cadillac hasn't won since 2020, and that was run by Rain Taylor Racing. Car 1 has Sebastian Bourdais who has experience in everything around the world and has won the 24 hours of Daytona before in 2014. It's been a few years since he's had a decent result at Daytona. He is joined by IndyCar Supremo, Scott Dixon, who is also a three times winner of this race, and Dutch endurance specialist Ringer van der Zand, who has won this race twice before. Six wins between three drivers, that's some pretty high level of experience. In the second car, Earl Bamba has never won at Daytona, but he has scored podiums and is a two-time Le Mans winner. Alex Lynn, who has won twice at Sebring, but this is only his second Daytona 24 hours, and Richard Westbrook, who has also never won, but has multiple podiums and is an experienced endurance racer. A good two-car lineup for Cadillac with plenty of experience all round. Porsche Penske. Former IMSA champion Dane Cameron joins Penske Porsche for both this and the World Endurance Championship. This could be a competitive test session for Porsche, and Dane Cameron is a good driver, but has never won the Daytona. Mathieu Jaminet won the GTD Pro Class at Daytona and the overall championship in a Porsche, but this is his first time in the big leagues. And Nick Tandy won Le Mans with Porsche and has won his class at Daytona. Not an awful lineup, but not a winning one. Matt Campbell won his class last year alongside Mathieu Jaminet, but in 2023 he is joined by Michael Christensen. He'll be racing in the WEC and was a class winner in 2017. And former F1 driver Felipe Nasser, who won his class at Daytona with Campbell and Jaminet and has finished on the podium multiple times. He'll be looking to go one better. The second car has the best chance in my opinion, but these Porsche lineups are a bit lacking. Wayne Taylor Racing with Andretti Acura. This might be the team to beat. Wayne Taylor Racing have won four of the last six Daytona 24 hour races and their sole Acura entry has four very good drivers. Felipe Albuquerque is a two-time winner and has also finished second twice. He has a pretty good history in this race. Louis Delatraz only made his debut last year, but the former Formula 2 driver has won the last two European Le Mans championships. Bredon Hartley is a wet fish in a single-seater, and he has never won Daytona, but he has won Le Mans a few times and the World Endurance Championship with Toyota. He is one of the best endurance racers out there, and it'll be interesting to see if he can do it here. Finally, Ricky Taylor, a two-time winner with Rain Taylor Racing, and a very good addition to this very good team. BMW M Team RLL. Two cars for BMW. This is their return to the top level of endurance racing. The team is filled with BMW employees, like Connor D. Filippi, a class winner with BMW and now joins them in the big leagues. Sheldon van der Linde, who was 2022 DTM champion for BMW. Nick Yellerly, who hasn't won much but does race mostly in BMWs. And they are joined by IndyCar startlet Colton Herter, the darling of motorsport right now. He won his class with BMW in 2019 and the LMP2 class in 2022. Car 2 has a more European flavour with former DTM champion Marco Whitman. Long-time BMW driver Augusto Farfus, who has won his class here before. And Philip Eng who has basically had the same level of success as Farfus. Good experienced drivers, but none have won Daytona overall before. There could be a first time for some of these drivers. Whelan Engineering Racing Cadillac. Formula 1 One Race Wonder Jack Aitken, go check out this video, has kind of been looking for work since his Formula 1 disappointment and spent last year in the ADAC GT Masters. This is his debut in the IMSA, and it'll be interesting to see what he can do. Pippo Durrani won the Daytona 24 hours all the way back in 2016, and this is his fifth year with Whelan Engineering. 
They finished second in 2019 and will be lucky to hit those highs again. Their final driver is Alexander Sims. He usually races for BMW, so I don't know why he didn't get a seat with them. But instead, he's with Whelan for his first attempt at the top level of IMSA. Inexperienced drivers except Durrani, but Aitken and Sims aren't awful and a podium might be on the cards, but I can't see them winning this one. Maya Shank racing with Curb Agajanian Acura. Our final team and maybe the favourites going in. Maya Shank won this race last year with three of these four drivers and returned for another crack at it in 2023, starting with experienced Brazilian Indy 500 legend Helio Castroneves, who'll be looking to make it three Daytona 24 hours in a row. He's also the 2020 IMSA champion with Acura Penske and very experienced in this series. Simon Pagano is another IndyCar star and a champion unlike Castro Neves. The win in 2022 was his first, but he has had success elsewhere in sports cars. Tom Blomqvist won Daytona and stayed on with the team to win the championship in 2022. It's the first real success of his motorsport career. He'll be desperate to cling on to that success. Replacing Oliver Jarvis is American Colin Braun. He has raced at every Daytona 24 hours since 2005 and is one of the most experienced drivers here with a few class wins to go with it, but he has never won overall. So that is everyone from the top class. I'm going for one of the Cadillac cars to win, somewhere ahead of the Maya Shank and Wayne Taylor entries. BMW and Porsche can't be discounted though. Instead of going through every car in every class, these are my picks for each one. No one really sticks out in LMP2, so I'll go with Rick Ware Racing. Interesting mix of drivers with Pietro Fittipaldi, Austin Sindrick, Devlin Di Francesco and Eric Lux. It's not a great lineup, but on paper, no team here has an all-round great lineup. LMP3, I'll go with Riley Motorsport and their team of Glenn Van Berlo, Felipe Fraga, Josh Burden and Gar Robinson. GTD Pro, I can't look past the pairing of James Collado and Alessandro Pierre Guidi, joined by very good drivers Daniel Serra and David Rigon. And finally, for the GTD class, could be any of the 24 entries, so I'll be progressive and say the Iron Danes. Sarah Bovey, Rahal Frey, Michelle Gatting and Dorian Pin. Iron Danes did pretty well in the European Le Mans series, so why not give them a go here in the States? So leave your thoughts and predictions down below. Let me know if you watch the IMSA and if you want to see more content covering the American Endurance series. Leave a like and tell your friends. Thank you for watching and have a good one.